it was very bad situation in Afghanistan. When we left there, uh, we left there at middle at the night. There were very darkness. Uh, when we when we were there, uh, there were lots of gunshots uh, because uh, we lived near the airport and the gunshot uh, distract our sleep. We cannot sleep well. Uh, we were afraid, we were scared, um, especially our cats didn't sleep and they uh, tell me that mom, uh, we should go. Uh, we, we are afraid from this situation. And when we left Afghanistan, uh, I was very unhappy because uh, I lost my everything. Uh, I lost my home. I lost my uh, I, I leave my family dear, my mother, my sister, but besides, I was very happy to carry out my my family, to carry, carry out uh, my cats from that situation to a very um, calm situation, to a very peaceful place. Um, the, the situation of Afghanistan was very bad. There was no hope for living for every human be being, for kids, for women, for uh, men, for, for everyone. And I mean, I can't even imagine what you must be going through with, with all this chaos for your family. And obviously a lot of people still left behind, still wanting to leave Afghanistan. What is the situation like on the ground there in terms of health care and people who really need help and support back home? Uh, yes, uh, it's a crisis situation in Afghanistan. It's the economic fault and the security fault in every fault, but the uh, health system is uh, very down. It's also crisis in the uh, uh, health sector uh, also. And uh, <clears throat> uh, Afghanistan needs uh, very necessary need helps, uh, need help of uh, <clears throat> international community, needs uh, aids of uh, the other countries and the health sector is very necessary in every country. Uh, we put the political issue aside and as a human, every human should be kind with each other. Now, nowadays, the people of Afghanistan is uh, in a situation that they need the emergency um, help, uh, especially nowadays, you know, the, the COVID-19 is a pandemic virus. The ethnicists um, 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 maybe increase the cases uh, in the COVID-19. There's there is no oxygen for the patients. There is no an emergency. A very primary health care is uh, not uh, any access for the people, for the patients especially. In the late 20 years, there was very progress that. Afghanistan was very progressed in the health sector, especially in the health sector. They were built many hospitals with lots of modern vehicles, with lots of medical universities, um, special universities, medical special universities. And also there were lots of projects for the improvement, for the progress of, in every field in the medical sector. Um, and I worked with an organization with WHO for two years. And besides uh, that, we, were, we work besides uh, with the men. If, if the Taliban didn't let the women go and uh, handle the, or continue their jobs, I think it's a very bad situation and it will damage the uh, health system in Afghanistan um, in all achievements that we, we get in the 20 years will collapse. And, and we see now obviously a lot of withdrawal of foreign aid. Just how important is foreign aid when it comes to the health care system? Yes, the health care system uh, is very important. As uh, health care, uh, the humanitarians or international uh, um, community should help people of Afghanistan. Uh, they should work along with the Taliban. They should not leave the people of Afghanistan alone. Um, the World Bank should uh, continue their uh, badges, their uh, aids with the people of Afghanistan. It should be work 
and also the whole one said that we are angry with uh, with the uh, international community. We are angry to continue their project, um, and also it's very necessary to continue their aids, and they should not forget the people of Afghanistan. They should help us. Um, because the situation is not good for everyone. And, and when you say everyone, I mean, obviously there's been a lot of focus on the major cities. What about the rural provinces? What sort of healthcare options are available to them? In the uh, capital of Afghanistan, uh, there were lots of progress in healthcare, and um, there was like uh, advanced uh, healthcare in Kabul, but now, when the doctors are leaving Afghanistan, like me, like any other doctors, trainers, specializations, they are, um, they are leaving Afghanistan. It's a very um, bad for the future of uh, healthcare system in Afghanistan. And far, far of that, they're like far away from Kabul in the provinces. In the provinces, there's no an emergency um, health, right. and the patients, yeah, the patients are in a very bad situation. Um, there was, there's no any um, health center that they should cure on there, and uh, 